Good morning, guys. So uh, today, me, Dylan, and Orion are going to head to the unit. We got to get my fuel filter done. Uh, I think Orion still got to do his fu uh, fluids, uh, his oil, his diff fluid. Uh, I'm, I might do my oil as well, but I'm not sure. All right, guys, I'm out here at the post office because I got to send a money order to a court in New York because of a ticket that I got a long ass time ago uh, that I will definitely tell you guys about right after I come out of here. So uh, for those of you guys that remember the Slim Jesus, it sounds, it sounds better. Does it? Hit the gas. My wastegate was. Oh yeah. The wastegate on this thing was stuck open earlier, so when you tried to give it gas, the turbo would not spool, and it would just be at zero psi. But since it warmed up, we're making boost now. But uh, for those of you guys that remember the Slim Jesus does sick burnouts in his Hoop DE12 video. That's the day I got in trouble. Uh, I was leaving his house in the Lexus with no muffler on it, and I got pulled over by one of the State town cop. cops there. Yeah, and uh, he wrote me a ticket for uh, having no muffler, and I did not, I forgot about it, I guess. I kind of threw it in my glove box. I'm like, whatever, I forgot about it. Never sent it in. So nine, seven, or uh, whatever, like nine or 10 months later so now, nine or 10 months later, they sent me a notice saying, if you don't pay us a money order, we're gonna suspend your license. So that's what I'm doing at this uh, post office here is I gotta send him a money order so I don't get a suspension for um, a no exhaust ticket. So now we're on our way to Lowe's to grab some uh, like metal to make some custom heat shielding. Hello? The wastegate on the 7.3 has definitely failed. It is making only four PSI on the turbo, and uh, you can hear in the exhaust that the wastegate is sticking open. So, uh. Do the helicopter right there. Holy Damn, shit! That's, so low. that's low as fuck. He's about to land. I wonder where he's landing. I wonder if there's like a, an attraction right there. He's landing fucking right in front of us. That's crazy. Alright, I'm gonna mat it. Listen to this spool up. There is no spool up. It's, all the air. it's literally all air because the turbo is not spinning because the wastegate is stuck open. So now that's something we gotta worry about. It's still pulling the trailer fine, but it's making no boost and it accelerates extremely slowly, which kind of sucks. Dude, someone's getting taken off the All right, so we just saw a helicopter land. It looked like it came in the direction of Lowe's. It looked like it came, hovered over Lowe's, and then went and landed in the back, but it's not back there. So we saw a fucking helicopter land almost in Lowe's. And we expected because there was two fucking uh, ambulances here, so yeah. no someone might have got hospitals. fucked up and they're getting life started. Anywhere the hospital. around here, there's no hospital. You're right. We, we got, got all, two We got two here. ambulances right here. right here. Chilling out front the Lowe's right now. So. Not sure what's going on, but we saw a fucking helicopter really close, so that's cool. But we're going in the Lowe's now to grab some, some metal for welding purposes. Here's, uh, here's the metal here. The metal section at Lowe's is pretty good. It's a bit pricey, the but they have the this weird shit that What's I that need, called? like thinner what stuff, weldable stuff. What would you call this? I don't even know. Wrap it around, dude. Wrap it around. <laughs> I don't know I don't why would someone buy this for what reason? I don't know, to cover like a screen door maybe. Yeah. What I'm doing here is just extending this heat shield pretty much to go around to the back and everything. Cause uh, special stage is a big ass track. You definitely have to use your brakes a little bit more than like a parking lot event. So uh, I really just want to make sure that the booster is covered and that this is all protected from any possible heat. This is heat wrap diamond plate too. So 
Uh, this heat shield's been working good, but like I said, special stage is a big ass track after like five or six hot laps. My brakes get a little bit spongy, so I want to make a shield that's even bigger, cover even more. On top of the fact that I'm going to fucking leave the hood off and the front bumper off for maximum airflow. So it's going to be ugly. It's going to look ratchet as fuck, but whatever. It's functional. It's a big ass track, and uh, I don't want anything going wrong. So I'll, I'll take the extra precaution of just having the car look ugly. In return, I get better performance, so that's really what I'm all about right now is performance. I don't really give a shit what the car looks like while I'm doing that. Dylan's gonna fix the shifter on the pit bike here because that's fucking broken, so we need to make a custom one. Fucking aluminum, dude. And then Cam's gonna try and get his car running. See if I can do the fuel I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach the fuel filter from the bottom, which is the shitty part, so. You might have to do it from the top. <sighs> I might have to take all this shit off again, which is. Like the 20th fucking time I've done it, it's so annoying, dude. I can imagine, that's a lot of bullshit to yeah, take apart. it really is. You're well, out, see dude. what you can do. Wish I had a fucking 94. Dude. Look how much longer it is too. It's gonna feel so much better. The fulcrum is changed. You're gonna have like it's gonna less be nice. of a click. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like the force required. It's gonna be so solid, dude. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be solid as fuck. I can't wait to drive it. And the other side is a wrench too, so it's just gonna fucking it's gonna match. Putting that harbor freight welder to work. Alright, so here's my one of a kind prototype heat shield that I've been concocting. Pretty much the idea of this is to protect the brake booster and clutch slave cylinder and just all the components that are not supposed to have a lot of heat in them. So this is pretty thick metal. This weighs a pretty decent amount. I'll show you how it goes in. It goes in like this. And then uh, I can't really, I'm just gonna kind of put it down for a second. It's not exactly gonna be in that position, but as you can see, it's completely shielding off the turbo area from the brake booster, which is right here. My finger's touching the brake booster. And this is where the, uh, this is where the shield is gonna go. That's what it's gonna look like. Like I said, not a little bit slid back this way, but I can't really hold it there and, and show you on the camera. But the reason I'm doing this is because, as you can see here, this is a equal length manifold where the turbo is mounted in a lower configuration. It's on the bottom. Most turbo manifold setups, they would have the turbo sitting right here or like here or like here but not on the bottom. So when you, have a, when you have an equal length header like this with the turbo on the bottom, you usually run into heat soaking issues. So that was the whole point of the D-Max hood, but the D-Max hood doesn't extract as much heat as I need it to. So uh, this turbo manifold and turbo setup de definitely generates a lot of heat. So this is the solution for now. You is, tell, do you tell them how high quality this is? Yeah. Like this thing is like fucking five it's pounds. It's solid, yeah. It's a beefy ass, thick ass plate. Like heat is not gonna get through that and then soak up my brakes. So that's what that's what we're doing right now. And uh, the pit bike is meant. Oh my God, wait really quick. You guys are gonna get an absolute kick out of this shit. So we have oh, no oil. oil. We have no oil and we have this. We that's have your this E36 in our waste oil. Literally out of my E36. This is like fucking six oil changes in the making right mm -hmm. here. And, and we fucking put it straight in the pit bike. It's got a little bit of a leak. Yeah, <laughs> that was squirrely as fuck. Whatever, fuck it though. 
Cause uh, special stage is in a few days. I'm I'm really pumped. I'm fucking. I want to get my car ready and done, but I'm too lazy to take off the intake manifold. God damn it. I'm really pumped. I'm gonna finish this heat shield up and get it mounted to the car, and then uh, probably take it for a test drive. All right. So uh, we got the whole heat shield made. We got the braces made, and as you see, we're going to weld it to the manifold. Yes, it's a stupid idea. But it's the best. It's it's a stupid a stupid idea, but it's the best stupid idea that we have. Do I look at look at this? Like, does it, it look like does we it, give a fuck? We really don't it, give a, a shit. It's a bad idea. Because you want to know what? We're gonna finish this. We're gonna, gonna go work. rip it, and it's gonna be beautiful. No matter what anyone says, it's gonna work. And no, this manifold's not gonna crack. Absolutely not. I don't want to hear shit about fucking the manifold falling apart mm -hmm. because I welded right there. That's not. Gonna Nothing's happen. gonna happen, dude. This, is, this thing has been heated up and cooled down a million fucking a million times. I'm gonna go beat the shit out of it. It's gonna work great. It's gonna be mad. Be fucking fantastic. Those are some nice strong welds. Yeah. We added a uh, another like five inch bracing, so it wasn't as wobbly, and uh, I welded that on, and now it's uh, as solid as shit. Not gonna go anywhere. Also, people complaining about the work shirts. They're dickies. That's a dickies, not a Chinese copies. All right, we about to take it for a test drive. It's all on. Strut bar is back on. The uh, the heat shield for his brakes are back on. So we're gonna quickly rip it to McDonald's, get some drinks, get it's like 100 degrees here. He's gonna chill away here. It doesn't smell anymore. It doesn't. Rip it, dude, rip it. the intake manifold off, got my intake, throttle body, all that off, got all the hoses disconnected from the intake manifold. Uh, basically, now we have a straight shot. Well, I wouldn't say straight shot, but a lot better of a shot. You can't see it because it's kind of dark right now. A lot better of a shot from the uh, from the upper engine bay rather than underneath it. 
because it is, it's bolted to like, the, uh, the fuel filter is in a casing, and then the casing is bolted to the engine, so you gotta take the casing off the engine, and then fucking take the fuel filter out of the casing, put the new one back in the casing, bolt it back to the engine, so. What size are your hose? Also, I need to take a quick trip to the advanced auto down the road because it's running a little rough. I suspect it's the cap and rotor because that's the only thing that I have not changed. So I'm going to go pick up a cap and rotor because it's 14 bucks, some new plugs and wires as well, and see if that helps anything. I hope it does. All right, so here we have a new spark plug on this side and the old one on this side and as you can see the tip is white running way too lean which means it's lean or weak spark advance auto couldn't get me a uh, cap and rotor today so we got to wait till tomorrow it's scorching hot out so we're just gonna pack it up now and take off because uh, he's all done I got most of my stuff off. I got my uh, my drip shield on the bottom of my engine off so I have better access. Most of the stuff that is in my way is out of my way. My chest is just really starting to hurt me now, so I think I'm gonna take a break for today and finish tomorrow while yeah. Ryan gets his stuff. We'll come back tomorrow, uh, but, cause I needed, like I said, the cap and rotor, which is right here, they did not have it. So I gotta wait till tomorrow and then uh, it'll be there at 11.30 in the morning. So, so tomorrow, both our cars should be ready for stuff to I'm really hoping tomorrow's a day. That's it right there. White tip means it's running lean or fucking your spark is weak. So uh, that's really it. That's about it for today, honestly. It's fucking way too hot out. We're going to probably just kick back, relax, hit the pool or something. And then uh, we'll be back here tomorrow nice and early. Definitely to back here tomorrow. Finish this shit up. It's not early at night, so it's fucking cold. Yeah, get four soft serves. This is how we got to order Burger King with the trailer oh, hooked up. How far away is the thing actually? What do you mean? Like, like the mic? Yeah. To the to this seat. Yeah. Thirty feet. Oh my god.